Can you hear the birds? Yeah, the birds. Pretty cool, huh? So I'm all set up here. I put my van on an angle yesterday because this branch over here was hanging down and it was storming last night. If you saw my last video at the end of it, you would hear the storm, the lightning. Maybe not as bad as I heard it, but it was pretty late at night. And you know, lately we've been having to worry it in the Midwest and even into Oklahoma, Texas areas, they were talking about nocturnal, nocturnal storms. Yeah. And then I have this, I'm going to show you this bumblebee. When we grew up, we called these things yellow jackets, but only because they're black and yellow, but they're not a real or yellow jacket. Where'd she go? Oh. Oh, there she is over there. Why can't I get her? To other things. I almost ran over one yesterday because they like these little clover things. These purple clovers, they like them. They really do. I don't blame them. They probably smell nice. They probably are perfect for their pollen. Well, the guy cut the grass the other day, but he didn't do a very good job. He did good over here by me with the getting down all the those, you know, dandelion where you blow the white stuff away. But way down there, he he didn't get the that stuff very good. It's all there. Now that's way down. That's almost this like this green area is like as long as a football field. So what is that, 300 yards? You know, at least 300 yards. That's how far it is. Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. All that I know is we'll get older, older. So let us dance this side of way. Yeah, I opened up my back catch back and uh, because Danny knocked over my bamboo plant and spilled water all over the rug. So I had to wipe it down and uh, I got the rug outside. So I thought, well, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day. Will you be mine? Will you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? So hey everybody, I'm RV Rebel Girl and it is like, this is what you're seeing. What you see is what you get. I show you the real me um, on days when I look great and when days when I don't look so great. <laughs> so um, I'm working around the uh, camper today and um, just kind of moving some stuff around, cleaning some stuff up. And I uh, wanted to bring you along when I see something I think that you might be interested in. You know, if there's something that you might be, if there's something that you might be interested in. I've been watching YouTube today um, while I work and, you know, I look so bad. This probably won't even, even make the cut. <laughs> it probably won't even make the cut because I look pretty bad today. You know? I went to see my granddaughter play best uh, volleyball tonight, but I had to go come to my storage shed. So I just wanted, I don't know if I showed you this before. I have, um, this is a U-Haul and it's great because I just pull the van in and the door closes and I'm safe in here. I don't have to worry about 
being, and I have 24 hour access. Plus, they have a bathroom and drinking fountain. Well, let's see the bathroom. It's usually really nice and clean, but yeah, it's nice and clean. See, nice and clean bathroom. It smells nice and everything. They used to have a, where you had to use your card to get in, you know, your U-Haul card, but um, they don't. So it's 73 in here, it's climate controlled. Yeah, so I'm gonna get some stuff out of the van and put it in my storage shed. Okay, so I had to come and see it myself. I saw this thing in the parking lot. It's a robot. It's a security guard robot. Unbelievable here in downtown Aurora. But I gotta take a picture of this guy. Hi. I don't know if he talks. Do you talk? Do you talk? No, you don't talk, huh? Security remote robotic field unit. Do you believe it? What does it do? Does it call 911 or something? It's, is that not so cool? Hi. Hi, R2-D2. Recording. It's recording. I just think it's night scope. Okie dokie. It's just so funny. Well, I flooded out my camper. All the water filled all the way up into my bathtub. Ugh. Man, oh man, oh man. And well, it's draining now, but all over my floor. Thank goodness. I hope it's only contained here to my bathroom floor. I hope it doesn't seep over to the other side. How did I do that, you ask? Okay, well, I was put in fresh water. Uh, in my, I was just talking about towels. These towels are going in the trash now. I'm just saying how many, I got so many towels in my storage shed that I saw yesterday. Um, anyway, I went to flush out my black tank and because everything was empty i just wanted to flush some water through it but i forgot to open the black tank and the gray tank was open and so all the water backed up into my gray tank and up into my bathtub and then over the edge of my bathtub onto the floor oh my god what a mess thank god it didn't ruin anything and thank God that all the tanks were empty. Or it would have been really a shitty situation. So there was two rabbits, but now there's one. And there it goes. I think there must have been something to eat over there. That The one went after the food. And then the second one and it must have signaled over and said, Okay, come and get it. Dinner. Everybody, RV Rebel Girl here, and I'm back in the kitchen, back with the keto, back with the keto stuff. Yep, because I've been back on track with keto, and I put a few pounds, but I've taken them off again, so I'm back to a healthy diet. I just want to show you, I saw this recipe that I'm going to make. It's called egg roll in a bowl. Decided that instead of cutting up all my own cabbage, I went and bought a bag of cabbage. Uh, classic coleslaw that's already got the carrots in it. This is a 14 ounce bag that I bought. I saved, I, I'll probably put the rest of it in, but right now 
I probably just left a little bit in. So I'm going to kind of probably not measure it out as much as it, the recipe called for. Because the recipe I originally saw called for four cups of cabbage. Okay, I got something beeping. Hold on. I don't know what was beeping. Anyway, here we go. Um, so the original recipe called for like four cups of cabbage. There it goes again. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's my microwave. I totally forgot <laughs> that I quit. I, ha I don't use a microwave very often. I don't use a microwave very often and I couldn't figure out what was beeping. Mm. I put some coffee in there. No, it's cold. I didn't realize that it beeps until you take it out of the microwave. I'm just warming it up. So it probably is four cups with, if you actually fill up a container that tells you how many cups. And then I'm going to put in some scallions because there's already carrots in here. The recipe that I saw, the lady put in some red bell peppers for color because she didn't have any purple cabbage. But I'm not worried about the color. I'm not going to impress, trying to impress anybody. <laughs> you know what I mean? If I want more color, I could throw in some red onion, but this is the first time I'm making it. So, you know, I'm just going to kind of go with the, just go with the flow. The other things that we're going to put in here, it's going to be some sesame seed oil. Okay. Now I was, I, I was going to get minced um, ginger, but they were all out of it. So I'm going to use ginger powder, ground ginger, and then of course some soy sauce which I had to buy all this stuff because I didn't have it in my house. I'd stay away from soy, but for this, I will be taking the soy, using the soy. Just a little bit of soy sauce. And then we'll just put pepper in there to taste, some pepper in there, and some salt. Okay, here we go. I'm kind of not even going to measure it, but I will give you the measurements that the recipe that I'm following does have okay i'll put it up on the side here okay so the original recipe said to use you know uh, i forget how much you know it tells you how many carrots to use cup of carrots it tells you to use the green bell peppers and it tells you to use celery i'm not using celery i don't care for celery and i don't never heard of celery in an egg roll but Anyway, but if you want to make it the way the recipe makes it, you could do that. I didn't measure the onions, but this looks like more than three quarters of a cup, and I like onions. So I'm going to go ahead and add this into the pan. Okay, it's in there. Now, you know, I just kind of wing it. I don't measure much stuff, but it says to use a half a teaspoon of minced garlic. Well, I like garlic. So I'm using more like a tablespoon. I'm using more like a tablespoon. And this is fresh garlic from my, I won't say fresh. This is from my friend's Marsha's garden that I brought home. And I still have kept it in the refrigerator. It's still good. So I'm going to put some of that in there. Now I want to tell you, I bought some shredded chicken. I'm putting chicken in here. I did also buy shrimp to make shrimp tacos on another day. But at first I want to try it with the chicken like is in the recipe and i will say they said that there's three carbs in um this shredded chicken but it already has garlic and pepper and all kinds of spices in it it's got let me see i'm gonna read in the label what it said i brought it at the grocery store they have it like this at costco's too but it's like herb seasoning salt garlic um, powder, dehydrated garlic, dehydrated lemon peel, paprika, and then parsley and lemon juice and all kind. Of, that, that's about it. But it says that it's three grams of carbs. I don't know what the carbs are if it's chicken. Chicken doesn't really have many carbs, but let's see how much fiber, if it tells me how much fiber is in it, because it says it's three grams of, um, 
fat. It doesn't say there's any fiber in it, so I don't know. Okay, so then it calls for you to put so much, you know, whatever it says to put chicken in, but I might like a lot of chicken in mine, so I'm just going to put a lot of chicken in here and shred it. Now, if you um, I were to see the video, when you hear the instructions I'm going to give you that I took from this woman that I watched the video, which I can't find, she shreds her chicken in her food processor. And she shreds everything in her food processor. She shreds the chicken. She shreds the... Um, the uh, uh, cabbage, you know, she shreds almost everything in the food processor. So I thought that's a pretty good idea. But I want to make sure there's enough chicken in there. Because I'll have some leftovers tomorrow. Danny can't have this. So as soon as I get this going, I'm going to have to make Danny her. And I can smell the spices in here. It's a, uh, mm, it's good. Good. The cabbage is about three carbs. Mostly, I think, because of the carrots. And then I'm going to add some ginger and some sesame seed oil. And the soy sauce I won't add for a little while. It says to add some salt and pepper. Well, I don't need to add salt and pepper. Now that I've tasted it, I'm going to put that on the side because there's plenty of salt and pepper. Whoops. There's plenty of salt and pepper on this chicken. Okay, actually it says to add one and a half tablespoons of the sesame seed oil. There's one, but I'm going to add two. I just think it needs two. There we go. We got the sesame seed oil in there. It says add one and a half teaspoons of ginger. Well, that's like another half that big lumps on there. Yeah, just call me Julia Childs, right? I'm no Julia Childs, but... And I noticed that when the lady I watched make it, she actually added more stuff because she, she tasted it and she thought, oh, it needs more of this and it needs more of that, according to her and her husband. Okay, and then it's two tablespoons of soy sauce. I'll add the soy sauce in a little while, in a little bit. But right now, I'm going to turn on the fire and stir it. Danny's patiently waiting for her, me to cook for her. But here it is. I made her some hamburger that I had in the refrigerator that I made yesterday. And I just nuked it in the microwave, put a little pumpkin in it. And that was her dinner for tonight. She just loves this. And she sits and waits for it. Oh, good, Mom, because I'm really hungry. I've been waiting a long time and being a good girl. Oh, this is so good. Thank you. Thank you, Mom. Okay, I did go ahead and add um, a tablespoon of soy sauce. That's all I'm going to put in. I try to stay away from the soy because I have thyroid disease, and I tell you to stay away from the soy. Um, so... That's why I only put that little bit in. Also bought cashews. Yes, I'm gonna throw a couple, chop up a couple of cashews and throw a couple of cashews in here. Okay, I'm chewing the cashews. I had to taste them. They're really good. I'm not gonna put a lot in there because one ounce is nine carbs. So that's about one ounce. Just a little flavor. And when I think about how many ounces it is, I think a shot glass is one ounce. Okay. And look at you can see it's cooking down. Oh, it's gonna be so yummy. I'm not a real salt person, so I didn't add any salt, but it probably could have used a little more salt. But that's okay. I mean for the average person. But this is so yummy. Mm, yum, yum, yum. I'm turning off the fire. I'm going to plate it up. Oh my gosh, this is so good. So good, so good. 
And yes, I'm in my pajamas already because I was went to go see my granddaughter sing at her school. So um, I'm already in my jammies, but I'm gonna like, this is just so delicious. Mm. Egg roll in a bowl. And you can always add some, if you're not on keto, it's still good. And you can add uh, some duck sauce or sweet and sour sauce to it if you want. This made two bowls like this. The other bowl, I'm gonna save for tomorrow. Yum, yum, bon appetit.